This is WYMT Mountain Sports, your home for the Kentucky Wildcats and local high school sports. Kentucky opening SEC tournament play as the eighth seed, playing nine seed Alabama. The Wildcats needing a win over the tie to keep their NCAA hopes alive. Down two runs in the seventh, Riley Mahan drops one fair down the left field line. Dorian Hairston scores. Mahan in with a double. UK down just 3 2, but the Crimson Tide put it out of reach in the top of the ninth. Will Haney. Jumps all over the fastball, sends it over the wall and right for a two run shot. And Alabama eliminates Kentucky from the SEC tournament five to two. The Cats now sit and wait to see whether or not they will play in the NCAA tournament. Well, I don't feel as good as if we would have won, but I, you know, I haven't looked at it. I, I don't know anything about what's going on in the other uh, conferences or anything else like that. I know we were close. I know uh, 15 to 15 has been able to get you in many times in this league. So I, in all honesty, I haven't looked at it in depth at all. And we'll, we'll, we'll take a look at it here over the next 24 hours and we, you know, we'll assess it. District finals on the diamond tonight. We start with a crosstown rivalry. Hazard and Perry Central going at it for the 54th district championship. The doors jump all over Hazard in the first. Cameron Conley drives home two runs with a base hit to left, part of a four-run first inning for Perry Central. Then in the second, Perry plays long ball. Starting pitcher Braxton Cotton game. The sophomore takes Ryan Smith deep to left center for a solo shot. The second of two home runs in the inning for the doors, and they repeat as 54th district champions 9-5 the final over Hazard. To the 13th region, North Laurel hosting Clay County in the 40, 49th district championship game. Bottom first we go, scoreless game. Jack Capabianco hits one hard to second. The second baseman can't handle it. He's safe at first as Capabianco runners on the corners for the Jaguars. Still first inning, bases loaded for North. And Ryan Abner draws the walk. In comes the first run of the game. Jags go up 1-0 and North Laurel would go on to beat the Tigers 9-0. They are the 49th District champions. To the field next door, North Laurel and Clay County softball fighting for the 49th District title. Clay County with the bases loaded in the top of the fourth. Two outs, and they catch Kashia Jackson looking for strike three. Still scoreless in London. Bottom six we go, still scoreless. Runner on third for Kalen Yance. And the senior lays down the bunt beautifully. Rebecca Riley hustles down the line. She's safe. That would be the only run of the game. North wins it 1-0 over Clay County. Down the road to South Laurel, the Cardinals hosting Corbin in the 50th District Championship game. Top second, Corey Grimes hits one at the shortstop. Shortstop can't handle it. Runners on first and second for South. But the cards could not bring them home scoreless after two innings of play. Solid pitching performance by Michael May, the senior, getting Ryan Anders looking for strike three. Red Hounds are your 50th district champions. They win it over South for nothing. To the Big Sandy, 57th district we go. Morgan Thompson and Johnson Central taking on the other school in Johnson County, rival Paintsville. Bottom one, no score. McKaylin Pierce's low liner caught by Jordan Malaki. The freshman with extension or teammates have to give her some love on that play, don't they? What a play. But Johnson Central brought the hit sticks. Morgan Hobson in the second, bloops it to right. Shelby Cantrell scores, and then Jayla Spurlock in the third. Routine ground ball, it looks like, but yeah, not so much. That's an error. Annie Van Hoos will score. Johnson Central with no problem in round one. Lady Eagles onto the title game, 10 to one. First game of the night, Tony Skaggs in McGoffin County taking on Sheldon Clark. Scoreless game in the top of the first, but Paige Maynard changes that. Terry Howard and Phelan Weffenstedt scores on the base hit. 2-0 Lady Cardinals. McGoffin County left 10 runners on base, but here in the bottom of the fourth, Jazzy Howard gets a clean crack. Her sister Leslie scores. That makes it 5-2 Lady Hornets, and that's the final. Laley Birchall went four innings, struck out six. Lady Hornets versus Lady Eagles for the district title on Thursday. Back with more news after this.